Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Avery. I'm 24 years old, and I make videos all about personal finance and budgeting. In today's video, I am going to be budgeting for the month of December. Um, so this is going to be my December 2022 budget with me. Um, so for my income, I'm actually combining my last two paychecks that I've received and along with a little bit of extra income and that's what I'll be budgeting here today and you can see that in the ready to assign category. I do use a budgeting software called YNAB or you need a budget and if that's something you want to try, there's a link down below for a 34 uh, free 34 day free trial. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. So there's a few things I like to do every single time I get paid and that's put money towards my rent and put money towards my house down payment category. So let's go ahead and do rent. So I even though this is the month of December, I'm actually going to be budgeting a bit further ahead. I tend to budget one to two months in advance. So if we go into January, I can see that I'm underfunded by a thousand ish dollars. So let's go ahead and start with that. So I'm going to put for $16.50 into my rent and water category. Since that's my biggest expense, that's what I like to prioritize first. So that's got covered and then I'm going to put another four sixteen fifty into February's rent because I do like to um, budget as far ahead as possible for rent so that is covered and while I'm here in the month of February I do want to put money into my wellness category I've been budgeting further ahead in the wellness category because I do have an expensive spin membership currently for spin classes i'm trying to uh, lower my blood pressure naturally at the moment so one thing i'm trying to do is get more cardio exercise so i am investing in spin classes so that's 139 a month so i'm going to put that in february that way i don't accidentally spend the money um, sooner than i plan to so now that i've done that we can go back into the month of December and I'm going to put $250 into my house down payment. Um, I typically like to do $125 a paycheck, so since I've combined two paychecks for this video, I'm going to do $250. Okay, so now that I'm kind of going to freestyle a little bit. Um, so I know I want to put money into my gift category because I need to... Um, give money to my sister for her social work licensure. So I'm going to put $90 in there. And then I actually, that's all I need for that. I think it costs $250, but my boyfriend is covering the other part as like a Christmas gift to my sister. So let's see, what else do I want to do? I want to put money into my moving category. I know at the end of my lease, I'm going to be um, moving in with my boyfriend and I'm going to actually be moving into the apartment that he has currently. So I don't actually think my like moving expenses will be that all too high other than maybe like a down, um, what's it called? A security deposit. So I do need to make sure I have money for that, but I also want to make sure I have money for just like fun things I want to buy when I move. Maybe we want to get a new couch. Maybe I want to change my furniture around or I want to just do something a little different. You never know what you might need. So I'd like to put that money aside now. Um, what else do I want to do? So I have 1,226 remaining. I think I should go back into the month of January. And you can see I'm underfunded by 60350. If we take a look at some of my categories, um, my gas category, this is for my house. I actually just increased this a little bit because I'm going into the um, we're going into the winter months, and it's just something I need to make sure I have enough money in. I do have a little bit like building up over time, but I kind of have a feeling that gas for like is going to be very expensive this winter. At least that's what I'm hearing. So just gonna make sure that is covered as best as I can and I don't have to like roll with the punches too much. So if we take a look here, I do have fun money for $50. Um, something I've been thinking about with this is maybe combining my fun money and my like health, beauty, clothing, my hobbies category down here, all of this into maybe just like a general spending category. Um, 
that way and making it like maybe like $150 a month. I'm not sure yet. I'm still on the fence. Um, kind of just thinking like, instead of like worrying about how much money is in each category and having to move money around, depending on what happens that month, I'd rather just have like maybe $150 flat and I can spend it how I need to. Um, whether I spend it more on fun stuff, whether I spend it more on like beauty or clothing, um, just whatever, I need to that month and that way I don't have to constantly move money around that's kind of what I'm thinking about um, it also just gives me more flexibility in my spending so I can spend it more and ideally at some point it's like the spending category I could also like put my haircut into that so I wouldn't have to worry about a separate category for that either so that's what I'm thinking about but let's go ahead and just skip all of that for now and we'll just click underfunded it tells me what categories is going to be funded, so I do like this. Um, dining out, I do have something like an update on that. Um, let's go ahead and just click assign money. So that puts me down to 623.10. So as far as like how the month of December, I expect it to go, I do think it should be a good month. I do like um, the holiday time and like just spending time with friends and family during the holidays. Um, I celebrate Christmas, so I tend to buy Christmas gifts and everything. Um, it should be good and I, I, it's probably going to be busy with all the holiday happenings. Um, I'm also hoping I can keep up with like my exercise routine and actually expand it. Um, the month of November was kind of, it was, I think it was good overall. There was some highs and there were some lows. I think it was good as far as like having a handle on my finances, having a handle on like everything, but um, I was just sick like every five seconds. Like I had pink eye, which wow okay and then i had um bronchitis so i had like a lot of coughing fits so it was um kind of hard to keep up with my exercise routine just because i was constantly sick and i didn't want to get anyone else sick so i didn't want to go to the spin studio or anything like that um but i'm in out of the woods now you know crosses fingers hopefully so i'm hoping i can just um keep a good rhythm and a good pace with that and just continue going like a few times a week you know um god willing i guess um i'm hoping not to blow my budget on christmas i'll probably gonna do a separate video about this but i have I've already spent a little bit of it in the month of november but i saved 700 dollars for christmas but i actually need to like sit down and like do a budget on how I want to actually spend that money. I don't think it's going to be like a huge gift giving like Christmas for me. Um, it may just be more so like experiences and just spending time with family and like making f like food and everything like that. So we'll see what happens. And then for December, I want to continue eating out intentionally. I did a really good job of this in November, but um, I don't want to get into that until my November budget recap video. Okay, so with the 623 remaining, I do think we need to talk about the elephant in the room, which is student loans. Um, student loans. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with them. I know that the court order or whatever blocked the student like loan forgiveness from happening and now they're fighting it out in the courts. Um, so I'm not really sure if they're going to be forgiven now, but I do like to be pretty proactive with my finances. So I'm going to start putting a little money towards them just in case. I'm trying to say like pretty neutral towards it all. Ultimately, I don't want like any sort of like political fighting to dictate my mood even if it has to dictate my finances that's why we're here um i'm actually gonna take like um i do find like the uncertainty like frustrating because ultimate at this point it's like i don't even care like what they do i just want them to do something choose something like kicking the can down the road is frustrating and having like forgiveness attempts blocked is frustrating um but what i can do and what i control is just like how i feel about the situation so i'm actually going to do um what layla with uh personal finance with layla i think is what it's called her channel i'm going to um just take the approach of discontinuing to save so i'm going to try to bring that back i don't feel like super burdened by my student loans at the moment it could always change once they're actually in repayment assuming the forgiveness doesn't go through um, that's just kind of what I've been thinking about. So I'm just going to put $200 aside for this. 
So if you can tell, I have it set up to where it's like $22,074.68 is my current balance. It's not accruing any interest at the moment. So as long as that's happening, I'll just keep that there and I can see how much money I put there and how much progress I'm making towards it. So I have a lot of more, I have a lot more categories in my focus on now. I'm just kind of, um, indecisive lately, I guess. I can't really decide what to put money towards. Um, so I have a lot of different things going on and I also am struggling with just spending money. So if I look down at like fun, I've like, I have like $170 in fun money. I have a hundred dollars in hobbies. I haven't spent any of it. I can't even think of anything I can spend it on. I just don't really have like stuff I want to buy, which I guess is a good thing. But like at the same time, it's like, I can let loose a little bit, you know, <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking about. So I'm going to put $23 and 10 cents into the Roth IRA just to bring down the ready to assign to $400. And then I'm going to, hmm, what do I want to do next? Um, I put money in student loans. Let's put more money towards the house down payment. Maybe like, uh, $150. Oh, not 151 $150. Um, so that brings me up to, wow, that brings me up to 2750 I think between me and my boyfriend, we have over $4,500 saved. So that's great. Um, I don't really know when I'll buy a house, but I do. I hope to continue putting money towards this, even if the student loans have to go into repayment, if they don't get forgiven, if I don't get the 20 k forgiven, basically. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, that I can do both at the same time, but I may have to put less money into the house down payment, which is just reality right now with my income. That's okay. Um, I'm going to put, speaking of fun money, let's go back down here. Let's put 50 more dollars in here just in case I want to change this to like a spending, just a general spending category. That way I can have like a good balance in there. Um, $200 remaining. What are we thinking? Oh, I know what I want to do. So my three year anniversary trip, me and my boyfriend will be celebrating our three year anniversary in the month of March. And, um, I do think we've decided tentatively maybe on where we want to go. We're just going to do like a long weekend trip. And I'm thinking we're going to go to either Gatlinburg or like Nashville. Haven't decided which. I'd love to go into like the Smoky Mountains area. I've never been, but I know in March it's kind of a crapshoot on like how the weather is, especially in the mountains. Um, we don't necessarily have to go hiking. I kind of want this to be more of like a detox sort of trip. Like, yeah, uh, you know, like stay off, not necessarily off the grid, but I don't want to be like on my phone or on connected to technology that much. So that's what I'm hoping for with this. But it's just going to be about three days. So I think our biggest expense is just going to be um, housing and then for three days, you know, spending money, but that won't be too bad. Um, so yeah, either Gatlinburg or Nashville, if you have any suggestions, especially for the month of March, let me know if we went to Gatlinburg, we'd get like a cabin, of course. And if we went to Nashville, um, I'm not really sure to be honest, I've not been to either place before, so I'm sure either of them would be fun. Um, but yeah, so I think, that's what we've decided on at the moment. So I think I'm going to put $150 in there, which brings me down to 50 bucks. And I think I want to cover maybe, okay. So this category right here, I need your guys' help with this standing desk, walking pad. So, you know, like the under the desk, um, treadmills that people have. I want to get one of those. And I also really want to get a standing desk. Honestly, if I had to choose one before the other, probably a standing desk. But I'd really like to have both. Um, but I need suggestions on like the best kind, especially for standing desk. I've been looking at them, but I can't make a decision. I'm sure they're all fine. But if you have a standing desk, um, let me know if you like it and what brand you have. But let's just put the remaining $50 in there. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. I really need suggestions on one or both of these. I'm not even sure what the, like the budget should be on this. Um, I don't want to spend too much money, obviously, but I also don't want to like skimp and get like a crappy one of either of them. So yeah. All right. So everything is covered and I've spent, I've spent, I've assigned all of the money, which is what you do in YNAB. It's a zero based budget and it looks like everything for January is 
Um, not everything for January is funded, so that's great. So when the month of January comes, I already have all of the money in my bank account to cover those expenses. So that's exciting, and that's why I like using YNAB. And then for February, I'm down to about $1,500 um, since I put money in rent. So yeah, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>